a tiny terror goes trick-or-treating. Here's your spooky look at the new NECA toys. This is the Toy Capsule Collectibles Chucky Edition. You know, technically, they haven't done it yet, but the very idea of having Chucky going out trick-or-treating during Halloween uh, sounds like a fun sequel. I wonder if that's ever something that they would entertain. But we're going to be having a look at some more toy capsule collectibles coming to us from viewer Morgan, who was nice enough to pick this one up, along with the Halloween 2 toy capsules that we've already had a look at. If you want to check out his Instagram account, he's known as Macabre Custom Builds. And I gotta say, he does some pretty incredible dioramas for smaller NECA horror figures. I'd be definitely interested in picking some of those up for my own personal collection. I'll provide the link down below to Macabre Custom Builds. If you want to go over there and check out Morgan's work, you'll be in for a real treat. But instead of treats right now, we're going to be checking out some tricks. As we're going to be opening up all nine capsules of the brand new NECA Toys Toy Capsule Collectibles Chucky Edition. I think the only ones we have gotten are Michael Myers, of course, the ones that we just already looked at, and the Chucky. I don't think they've branched off to anything else. Maybe A Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the 13th capsules would be fun as well. Or why not go the obvious route of Trick R Treat with, of course, everybody's little favorite little troublemaker, Sam. Maybe that could be something that they could do later on. Now, I think there is also still going to be in here somewhere in these nine capsules, which as far as I know, knock on wood, they're all ste se still sealed. But I think inside one of these, there is a Chucky head. I don't know what the other one is going to be, but when we did open up the Halloween 2 toy capsules, there was not only the skull uh, trick-or-treat uh, silver shamrock mask, but there was also an unheaded, you know what I mean, there was no head inside a regular mask Michael Myers. And I think, again, that was the price of admission. So I'm really curious what we're going to be getting inside this bag. We're going to go ahead and open this up right now. Now, in the last video, when we had seen this humbled reviewer last opening these bad boys up, I was using Chet Cuttington III. I feel it's good to share the time and space with all of my knives. So Old Red is going to be joining us for this one. I'd also like to shout out, give a big old shout out to Chase who hopefully Chase is watching this video, if, you, if he is. Hello, Chase. Thank you for taking the time and watching all my videos. I really do certainly appreciate that. And I really hope you're going to enjoy this one as well, Chase. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open up the first one. I mean, if I just did the shake test, I don't hear anything. I don't notice anything rattling inside. But I'm going to open up the first capsule, which happens to, again, be that red and and black. I guess they're keeping to a Halloween theme, but for Chucky, they probably could have done, like, red and blue. Or red and yellow. I guess red and blue probably would have made more sense. But the first thing we have seems to be a bracelet. It seems to be a bracelet. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Can I get in there? Where's the Where's the actual... There is no seam on this. So I'm going to make short work of that with old red. And we got ourselves a bracelet that says, Hi. Hi. Let's just get the camera to focus there. It says, Hi. <laughs> I'm Chucky. Want to play? That is awesome. And on the back, it says Universal. So awesome, in fact. Ugh! So awesome, in fact. What do you think of that? Oh, wait. I got it upside. There we go. I'm going to put that on my bracelet or on my wrist. It is going to be my serving bracelet for the remainder of this review. And we're going to go, go ahead and open up the next one. What do you think of that, Chase? That's pretty cool, eh? Pretty schwanky. Want to play? Uh, the next capsule. Whoops. Not breaking it, hopefully, in course. We've got ourselves a little Chucky e chain. Let me see if I can actually get my... I shouldn't have been handling all that soft butter. It's made my hands so slick to grabbing anything. We've got ourselves a little Chucky keychain. I like this because it's not. it doesn't have anything on it. It's no other shape than just the shape of the letters with a little bloodied Y. It's dripping down blood. Blood probably doesn't sound that way. But a nice little fun keychain. I could put that... I technically would now have two keychains. We had already gotten the Michael Myers, and now I can put the Chucky on this. I'm actually going to put probably both of these right now onto my keychain. Not literally right now, but I will be putting them on shortly after this review, because that's a pretty swanky-looking keychain. 
feel we've started on a rather high note. Let's hope we continue that trend. I don't hear anything. Chase, do you, do you hear anything? I don't hear anything. Let's open up the next one. And what do we got in here? And I sort of had some idea when it came to the Michael Myers capsules, but honestly, for the uh, Child's Play ones, I really don't have much of an idea of what's inside. I think there is a head in there somewhere, but I don't really know what else we get inside. And I would imagine they're probably going to be the same capsules with every single bag. If you happen to get different ones than I have, let me know down below in the comment section. I think there are stickers somewhere in this one as well. But we've got ourselves a good guy lanyard. Similar to the Halloween lanyard, although this is all done in the colors of a child's play good guy. You can see that all the different all the different occupations Chucky would like to do, your friend till the end. Apparently murdering people. Oh, there's a gun. Well, there's technically a gun. That's close enough. There's no knives or anything on here. No voodoo knives. But a decent looking lanyard, complete with sporting some branding there. It says good guys. Put that right over there. I mean, personally speaking, I think NECA does have something on their hands by doing these as annual releases. The very idea of getting exclusive heads right off the bat is really appealing to me. And I, again, I hope they really do this as a, as a yearly tradition. I'm going to open up the next capsule. And I believe we have ourselves a magnet, judging by the look of it, at least on the back of it, and flip it around. You've got ourselves, yeah. That is a Chucky magnet. It looks like it's Chucky from Child's Play 3. I'm guessing. I'm sort of 85% certain. Decent little magnet. Again, it's not going to be for... Well, I guess you could put it on your large fridges, but, you know, it would be smaller. If you have, like, a little bar mini fridge, like those little, you know, little mini fridges that hold things inside, like Cokes. Or I'm trying to think of what else, if you like somebody, if you're like somebody that likes your chocolate bars cold, I have a couple of friends that enjoy uh, chocolate bars, Snickers especially, they seem to really dig cold. I think they're a bit crazy if you ask me, but some people, I guess, just like cold chocolate bars. To the furthest extreme, I know some friends that like to put their chocolate bars into freezers, and I really think that those are mad people. Why would you put a chocolate bar in the freezer? I'm getting sidetracked here, aren't I, Chase? I'm going to put this down to the side. We're going to open up the next capsule. This would, I think, make three? No, four. This is the fourth one. Jeez, I'm already losing. Losing sight of... Oh, look at this. We've got ourselves a little Chucky patch. Now, patches are only really serve a good purpose if you literally put them on something. Patches aren't the most exciting of things, and I'm sure a kid who was anxious to get a child's play Chucky head or perhaps a keychain might be a little bit more disappointed by the idea of getting a patch. Don't get sulky just yet, mister, because the idea if your mom, your dad, your owl, if you have owls caring for you, you could easily have one of them sew this onto your jacket, and instantly you're the coolest kid in Haddonfield. Although it's strange that you would still be living in Haddonfield after the events of Halloween. You may want to just vacate out that altogether and move to a different city. Anyways, that's a pretty nice looking patch. We're going to put that down. Still, we're eluded by a head. This one has a little bit of a rattling to it, but there's it almost sounds like it's got a little squeak inside. The next one is, of all things, a pin. Another enamel pin. I can add that along with my Dick Warlock, Michael Myers. Pin. I'm going to pull this out. Here we go. And not, not a bad looking pin at all. No way, no way. Not a bad looking pin at all, I say to the rafters. You can see that it's got some, you know, it's slightly embossed. As you can see, it's got good guys there. And in this case, because I guess the shape that they've went with, they decided to use two pin backs, little things that you put on the back to prevent it from poking you. But as a kid, I mean, I know especially around Christmas time, I had like a little Santa Claus pin. And all the time, those backs would fall off. And before I know it, I'd be walking in a mall, and I'd have this little thing poking into my skin. And I'd say, Mom, it's poking my skin again. And she'd never be able to find these backs. So sometimes I think if I was to go out again with these, I'd probably carry a handful of these in my pocket. No way this thing's going to be poking me again. I'm going to have extras just in case. And really, a moment of reflection, looking over at the stuff that we've gotten so far. I'm pretty happy with these things. 
Anybody, again, would be looking at that and saying, I don't know, the price of these, are they really worth it? And don't forget, of course, I've still got that bracelet on. I think, again, when you consider those little snack size Snickers that seem to be getting smaller and smaller every single year, they're going to be about this size before you know it. I would rather much have horror merchandise thrown, bazooka into my bag than maybe a little small. I mean, the size of them lately. I have not bought candy this year yet because I'm not really sure if we're going to be doing trick-or-treating this year. But they, they're, I think, last time I checked, as of last year, Snickers were about this size. And Mars, if you are somebody that likes Mars, I'm, we'd have not to be friends after that. But a Snickers, I think, are about that size. I mean, you could take a Snickers right now if you picked one up for yourself. Sort of put it up to the screen and see if my calculations are about right. I think it's from pointer finger to thumb, a Snickers snack size is about that size. I know some people in the back are saying, go back to the capsules. Go back to the capsules. We're going to go back to the capsules. This one does not have, again, any sound to it. I'm going to open this one up. And we got ourselves some shoelaces. Very nice shoelaces. I don't know if I would put these with my black Converse shoes, but I guess if you had a pair of white Converse shoes, or hey, if you had a pair of blue Converse, this would definitely work well with blue Converse shoes. We got ourselves some shoelaces. And of course, Good Guys is written all the way from one end of the shoelace to the other. I don't know what the actual term is, and I'm sure somebody could easily Google it right now. Literally, as I'm talking, somebody's being Google it. You don't even know what I'm going to ask. You don't even know what I'm going to ask. Okay, I'm going to ask it. I don't know what... I, I used to know the name of the end of the shoelace, the part that's wrapped in plastic. This is a part that's going to go through, of course, the eyelets, the eye holes of the shoes, which I know isn't even the name either. Somebody's currently Googling it right now. And some crafty person will be like, I've known it. I've known this my entire life, even though I just looked at this like five minutes ago. I just looked at this up like 30 seconds ago. I've known my whole life. The name of this is a je ne It's not a je ne You're just making up words. Uh, the next one, second last capsule. This possibly could be a head. Let's just do a quick, it is quite possible. Sorry, I was breaking down into beat. It is quite possible that these are now both heads. I'm gonna open up this one, see what, we, what one we got inside. And actually, in actual fact, we have a regular good guy. Let's grab my knife for this. I'm gonna need a knife to open this up. We have a regular good guy head. Uh, really perfect, actually. If you already have, say, the ultimate Chucky, um, the you know, of course, a little smaller size ones, this would be an ideal head sculpt. It does seem like it still plugs in via a ball socket underneath, unlike the Michael Myers that deliberately didn't do it. They just did it as a straight up mask. I don't know. I don't have the other one in front of me just yet, as of right now, unfortunately. But I don't think there's anything that's really different between this one and the one that we had gotten before. Sort of what they did with the Michael Myers mask being the fact it didn't actually have a head inside of it. I feel like it probably would have been a prime opportunity for them to do something different with this head sculpt. Maybe the charred face of Chucky, although a little bit more frightful, I'm sure, for a kid to open it up and see it inside. But to give us something different as an exclusive would certainly become a Chase figure, a Chase head. Oh, I just said Chase. Hey, Chase. I hope you're enjoying this video. Uh, but definitely give us something a little bit different because, again, I don't think there's that much different with this one to the one that we had gotten before. Well, that's one head down. And then we have whatever is inside this last capsule. Something I actually failed to mention was the fact that it's got a little embossing on the outside here that has Chucky on it. A nice little touch done by NECA's toy, uh, NECA Toys' part. But I'm going to open up, crack it like an egg. And see what we got inside. It's not even a head at all. So actually, we only did get one head in this release. But we did get ourselves an eraser. And open up the bag. Pull it out. Yeah, it is a it is an eraser. I guess you probably could say maybe it's Curse of Chucky. That we're seeing here on the front. Could even be Seed of Chucky. I mean, we're only seeing this one side of him, but I don't see any damage on his face. But it's just a, it seems like it's just a straight out eraser. You know, does anybody really use pencils anymore? Most people 
don't take this to your phone. Don't think you can erase your... Well, you guys are all smart. You would know that anyways. But a decent looking eraser. I'm trying to think of actually what was left off. Because we did get a patch. We did get a magnet. We did get... Oh, I know what it was. It was the bracelet. I keep getting reminded by the fact that I got this bracelet wrapped around my wrist. That was the thing that was different between this and the Halloween set. The Halloween set, of course, didn't get the bracelet. But it did give you two heads as an alternative not a bad, not bad overall on these. Again, I feel like there's something fun about these. While some would, I'm sure, champion the idea of getting, again, I have it right over here on the side, where it is right here, the alternate head sculpt here from Michael Myers. Again, I think this is fun. The fact that they just did this as a regular mask. Uh, here instead, we didn't get two Chucky heads. Instead, we only got just the one. But again, I feel like they could have probably done something a little bit different to it. Still using the same mold that we had gotten before. Whether it be scarring it, whether it be charring it, whether it be doing something different to it, that you could then instantly use this head sculpt as a swappable option to the one that we already got before. Uh, despite that, I think these are still fun things to have to hand out to Halloween. And I mean, even with Halloween sort of on the fence right now, it's teetering as to whether it's going to be canceled this year. Still, the idea of being able to pick these ones up and have something just around the house if you're having like a little small get together with everybody, of course, having their masks on. Uh, Fun little capsules, of course, to even open up on your own and just see some of the fun stuff that NECA packed inside each one of these orange and black plastic prisons. Again, if you're interested in picking these ones up for yourself, I think they're only available. Oh, here's some of the various Chucky appearances. Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, Child's Play 3, and Child's Play 2. Still, again, I don't think they... I guess they don't have a licensing for the first Child's Play. But if you are in the market of picking these ones up for yourself, I think they're only available at Walmart. Unfortunately, here in Canada, pfft, nothing. Nothing whatsoever. But I did get viewer Morgan that was nice enough to pick these ones up for me. And again, thank you so much, Morgan, for making my day. I was really excited to see these online. I thought I would have to go online to places like eBay and pay crazy prices, it seems, that people are charging for these to pick them up. Uh, but again, Morgan was able to go to his local store and pick them up. So again, a big thank you, Morgan, for grabbing these. If you also want to check out Morgan's Instagram account, check out Macabre Custom Builds. You should see some of the incredible work that he does on little smaller dioramas. He actually just did a whole bunch of them for Jason Voorhees from Friday 13th Part 2. I noticed he starts circulating that around on the Facebook forums. Definitely check out his work again at Macabre Custom Builds. And again, a big hello, shout out, thank you to both Morgan and Chase, who were nice enough to pick these ones up and send it my way. Hello again, Chase. Thank you again for taking the time and watching these videos. It really does mean a lot. If you guys like the content you're seeing, like Chase, enjoy watching the spooky related videos. And let's just say you haven't yet had a chance to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, of course. Move on over to the bell notification and turn that on. And just a friendly FYI, Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. And, of course, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I like to take a little bit of a two-hour break in between videos. But, yes, that is two videos a day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Ten videos a week you'll expect to see on this channel on a regular basis. Just remember, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come back to this channel. You're always welcome. Got lots of brisk on the table and usually a lot of time little small bite-sized writs it depends on whatever the budget may be but lots of videos coming your way guys as always thanks for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs>